Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's a snowy day outside today, so I decided we'd stay inside and talk about another chicken breed. So today I would like to talk about the Crayon Copa. If you haven't heard of this chicken, I do not blame you. I hadn't heard of this chicken until I actually started researching chickens a couple of years ago. So if you haven't heard of this one, it's not common. This is a very rare breed, especially in North America. So some hatcheries in North America have this bird. Most do not because it is a rare bird. It is a little more common in Europe, but it is still a rare bird and it is used for laying and for exhibition purposes, but it's not common. All right. So the crane copa comes from the area between uh, Germany and the Netherlands. So that border area, that area is where this bird was birthed. And it was probably a result of crossing Malays with leghorns and the local fowl of the region. And it happened in the early 1900s. We're never going to know exactly where this bird came from, simply because nobody keeps track of chickens when they're creating a new chicken. They don't even usually realize they're creating a new chicken and no one writes these things down. But our best guess is a cross between several different breeds and that it happened in and around the border area between Germany and the Netherlands. So these guys are quite striking. There is a Bantam version, so if you don't like the larger size, you can get the smaller version. They're almost identical in temperament and needs. So the only difference really is size. They even lay pretty close to the same amount of eggs. There's a little decrease in the Bantam simply because they are a Bantam, but the Crayon Copa tends to be the Crayon Copa regardless of size. So these birds have a fierce look and temperament. So they are as fierce as they look. But that can actually be a little bit misleading because this is a generally good tempered bird. They have a good nature, they're well-rounded, they're not snuggly, but they're not aggressive, unless they're annoyed. They can go from sweet backyard chicken to a feral chicken beast in a heartbeat. All right, so they're nice birds, they do have a little bit of a temper. <laughs> they are really active foragers, so that means they don't tolerate confinement well. They're better as free rangers than as birds you're going to stick in the coop all the time. They're also a really hardy bird. So they're quite good at surviving both the heat and the cold. So they're good for northern regions and for humid regions. These guys tend to be pretty darn hardy. They're difficult to not have thrive, really. Once they're past that baby chick stage, they do tend to just do really well in most climates. However, they are fairly rare, so if you're looking for them, you may have to go on a wait list. That's fine. Go on a wait list. They do need to make a bit of a comeback, but that's okay. There are a lot of rarer breeds of chicken, and this is simply one of them. So they should not be confused with a similar chicken, a similar sounding name. Okay, the pronunciation and the spelling tend to be fairly similar. Um, a bird that's from the Netherlands. Outside of the Netherlands, it's called the Breda. But inside the Netherlands, you might easily confuse it with the Crayon Copa. So just be aware that they're two different breeds. All right, look at the spelling. So again, the title of the video has a pretty accurate spelling. Sometimes that last E is left off. But if you notice an entirely different spelling, then it's actually the other breed. All right, it's important to recognize the difference if you're looking for this particular bird, especially if you're buying chicks or hatching eggs, because you can't always identify the adult bird from the chick or the hatching egg. So just be aware that there is another breed that has a very similar name. This bird is not currently recognized by most registries in the United States and Canada. However, it is recognized by some of them in Europe. So if you're looking to get into show chickens, double check that this bird is allowed to be shown in your division. If it's not, then you might want to work towards getting it recognized. They are lovely birds and they're certainly worthy of a place on your farm. Like I said, they are a laying breed, so they lay about 150 to 180 off-white eggs. I know that's not a ton, but they are primarily used for laying because they don't make great meat birds. They're 
kind of don't have a lot of meat on them because they were bred as a laying breed, so they're not quite robust enough to make a good meat bird. They're not fantastic when it comes to laying if you compare them to like a leghorn that lays a lot, but they're still decent, half decent anyway. Um, they come in a lot of different colors. There's a lot of experimental colors out there, but the three primary colors are silver, gold, and black-breasted red. So those are the most common colors, the most established colors, but there's a lot of project colors out there with this breed just because they're a lot of fun to experiment with. They do tend to be pretty easy to hatch, so if you are getting hatching eggs, you should have some decent success there as long as you've hatched other eggs in the past. So it is important to note that this is a loud breed of chicken, okay? They're loud. Even the hens are loud, and the rooster has this especially loud crow. So if you are in an area where you have to keep the noise down, you might want to skip these guys. They are pretty noisy. It's a delight, or at least I think it's a delight. But again, if you have, if you're inside the city or if you're in the suburbs or somewhere where you have to control the noise, you're going to have to skip this breed. You're definitely not going to be able to get away with hiding a rooster from this particular breed because they do make a lot of noise. So just bear that in mind when you're deciding which chicken breeds you want on your farm. So that is about it for us today. I hope you enjoyed lo learning about the Acrayan Copa. They are a fun breed. They are a little bit rare, so if you haven't seen them, I'm not surprised. We'll see you tomorrow.